In this video, I'm going to show you a simple five-man pressure that's going to allow you to get really good pressure against the gun bunch. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I wanted to let you know that in this video, we're going to be talking about the Nickel 335 Odd. Now, the Nickel 335 Odd can be found in a lot of playbooks, but the playbook we're going to be talking about and focusing on in this video is the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. Now, I actually have a full ebook out on the Nickel 335 Odd. I believe it's probably one of the better defenses in the game this year. So, if you want to learn my entire Nickel 335 Odd defensive scheme, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can go get the ebook for just 15 bucks. Now guys, the play we're going to be talking about today is probably my favorite play in the game, and that is LB Cross 3 Show 2. I love this concept, uh, this crossfire, blitzing angles, and just kind of manipulates the line a lot. So uh, what we're going to do with this is we're going to come out, we're going to baseline, we're going to press, and then we're going to spread our defensive line, we're going to crash our defensive line down, and then what I like to do from this is I actually like to go ahead and zone off the backside linebacker, and then we're going to go ahead and blitz that nickel corner. Now you can roll this into a cover two if you would like, or something like a cover three cloud type of defensive front. Um, this is kind of some things that you can kind of do from this uh, to help the coverage a little bit. And then you're gonna stand kind of right here with your user right to the left a little bit. And at the snap of the ball, what you're gonna see is we're gonna get pressure through the A gap oftentimes and through the edge uh, for the most part. Now, what I like about this five man pressure is it is very, very safe. Um, you're gonna have, like I said, you got great coverage on this play if you wanted to. Um, this is actually a fairly decent concept in my opinion against Gun Bunch to do something uh, kind of like this uh, at this point in the season just because of the route combos that a lot of people are using. This is a great little concept and like I said the pressure comes in really well. Like I said you're oftentimes going to get a gap or edge pressure. Um, you're going to get some kind of pressure coming through. Now let me show you what this looks like if our opponent were to for example block uh, a running back or block a tight end. So when they block their tight end I'm just going to show the pressure here uh, but what you're going to see uh, whoops, let me see here. Let me re-blitz that linebacker. There we go. Okay, now what you're going to see here uh, whenever somebody whenever somebody blocks a running back is, again, you're going to stand kind of right in here, and typically this is still going to come in. The running back's not going to pick up the nickel corner because he's going to be focused on the looping blitzer. This is one of the main reasons why I really do like this concept because of what it does with a blocked running back. When your opponent has a blocked running back, uh, to me, this is a great little concept because they're either having to deal with that A-gap pressure or they're having to deal with the edge pressure uh, coming at their, uh, at their player. Now, another way that you can run this similar concept is simply go ahead and uh, take, you would use or now this guy, Duggar, and then we're going to go ahead and run the same concept on the backside. So it looks something like this, essentially. Uh, and what you would see here is at the snap of the ball, you see we're going to get some gap pressure coming in pretty hot at the quarterback. So the beauty of the LB Cross 3 is there's so many different ways that you can set up the pressure concept. Uh, and then this is just one of the several different concepts. If you wanted to stand kind of right here, with your user uh, you certainly could it's a little bit more of a natural place to stand let me show you kind of how that looks and then you can see how that's going to increase the likelihood that we're going to get that a gap pressure to come in at the quarterback now if they block their tight end i would say this is probably the most effective way for the the offensive line uh, to try to pick up this pressure if you want to you can kind of stand kind of right in here but like i said if you look at this like oh whoops i'm sorry i forgot to blitz that nickel corner um but typically what's gonna you're gonna see here is a lot of times what this will do is it'll actually open up some of the a gap concepts uh, for us so again you can kind of stand like kind of split the difference between the tackle uh, and the guard and then we're gonna block the tight end here and what you're gonna see is we still get that edge pressure so that's one of the main reasons why I really like this blitz is because a lot of the ways that people are going to try to pick this up there's still going to be a lot of opportunity uh, for this to come completely free. And again, oftentimes you're going to get that nice edge rush. Like I, and I'm telling you right now, that five man is just very difficult to pick up this year. And then as long as you can adjust your coverage out of it, you can have a very, very good defense. So uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the nickel 335 odd defense, be sure to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon membership, you're going to get access to every ebook all year long. Uh, and it's only 10 bucks a month. And you, as soon as you get it, you get immediate access to all the ebooks. Uh, we've got 12 ebooks right now. I'm working on a couple uh, behind the scenes. So be sure to join the Patreon today. There's a link in the description below. You can join today for just 10 bucks. And again, you don't have to stay signed up month to month. You can cancel whenever you'd like. But like I said, as soon as you sign up for the Patreon, 
you get immediate access to every ebook that we've released so far and every ebook that we will release while you continue to be a Patreon member. We also drop exclusive tips and different videos like that from time to time. I'm actually dropping one today that I think is going to be really, really important uh, for the way people like to play defense. So be sure to join the Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later.